you ask me to coach, so I coached Betty. I coached you manage. That was a deal. Mm -hmm. So she's doing a fantastic job managing, and uh, I'll try to do my job coaching. Okay. The one thing that's most rewarding about coaching is to see somebody that's learning how to play move up to a standard where they can compete <coughs> at a level not seen in the CIF competition. So you guys should be very proud of yourself. The first time I see you guys play, I go like, oh, no. <laughs> something 
that a path that I think you know that we took. There was really not too many people think we could actually go pretty far. But Betty and you know Iwan, right, as well as uh, you know so saw some things that nobody did. The vision of Melinda B actually heading out a real a, a family team that actually went to championships and brought so much glory to Lola and Tammy, which we are very, very grateful. I'd like to right now take, really take the time, especially to thank all the coaches. They are very, very busy people. Especially like, you know, so he's a hey sponsor of a senior class. I'm sure he's running his hands up in it. the teaching classes yeah, and everything. Fine. He's busy. In spite of all of that, he makes the time to support the team being there as much as he can. So on behalf of our Global uh, Academy, Badminton, Varsity Dream, I would like to present to you an autograph picture of our team. Thank you. <laughs>
with him and he returned as a coach. And that is very inspiring that you know our members could be inspired to come back to make a difference for the team that he used to be part of. Well actually to testify to that, actually Mick Kyung came back, he was a captain in 2013, he came back in 2015 as a coach. And it was because of Mick Kyung helping the girls, our girls double, to figure a way to beat Webb High School. Mm -hmm. Our girls that year did beautifully in the single and the girls double, and we won against Webb. Yes. So mm -hmm. he has a special touch of seeing and, um, and teaching the girls how to win Webb High School, and that we were really glad for that. Of course, we cannot forget <coughs> Who actually, in spite of all his heavy high school uh, senior year classes, he makes time to practice. I mean, he pockets so many hours to practice, to play well, so that he can beat our team. You know, it's always such a pleasure for us to watch him play. In fact, you know, in every tournament right now, whenever he plays, everybody's watching. You know, everybody wants to just, just totally, totally inspired by this. And you know, when you he never, and I think you're the last one there. The last day when he played, you know, most of you who are not dead could not really realize the intensity of what he went through. He was playing both the singles as well as the mixed double. He played seven games in four hours. Seven games. This is talking about very intense game. Every point, everything he got. He went all out. He was aspiring so much. <laughs> you can. I have two shirts, don't you? One shirt each match. And we have to, we go to, we have to, go to the restroom to wash it and uh, blow dry for him to end so that, because he has five shirts only and he has seven <laughs> matches. <laughs>
me. I, I know she's a very busy woman, and she, in spite of that, she's the most organized mom I ever met. She can organize everything right to the very dot of everything. And the same thing with um, Ivy. She works on the night shifts and everything. She probably had hardly any sleep at all. But yes, she makes sure to get all the transportation lined up. And yet, when I'm not around, or when I, she always here to make sure we have a chest full of ice. She makes sure everything runs smooth. And of course, Birdie, who's driving all around, all this time, to every single one. And Dr. Dennis. I think Dr. Dennis, is he here? I can't yeah. see. Yes. Thank you so much. And then for uh, Dan, too, and then for Dr. Dennis driving all these long trips out. I mean, you know, because all the other parents, you know, we really, really appreciate all that. And it, because of all the support, I think this is where we are. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Applause for yourself. I think it's very appropriate that we close by thanking God. Because without God, we would not have gone this far. Honestly, we would not. Because we would be having a lot of accepting issues, a lot of biases and a lot of but God truly cleared the way for us to shine for his little for his small little lonely academy that is only three years old in the technical arena. And God is more than good to all of us and he has brought us through many, 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 many ways that was close to us in the past. So I want to uh, Wait, uh, for those of you who <laughs> either did not get or ignored my constant pestering email and texting. I do have a list and you still owe me $20 and you did not pay for these things. You're not off, you're not off the hook because you didn't pay until now, so you still pay me. Thank you. Sorry. You're talking about me. 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 You're talking